No one ever thinks that they'll personally experience anti-Semitism until they do. Washington, D.C., I've always found it to be a place that people are looking to make an impact. I love living on Capitol Hill. I've been here for 20 years. I've always said that Capitol Hill is among the top 10 neighborhoods in America. Uh, the last six months, I would say it's not been that way. We came home to find my favorite mezuzah ripped off the doorpost of our home. At that moment in time, I felt a wide variety of feelings. First, obviously, very, very violated. Uh, the ADL in the last few years has recorded anti-Semitic acts as a, at an all-time high. The sad truth of the matter is that we're going to continue to have these challenging experiences. And I, I thought seriously about how to have, quote unquote, the conversation that many Jewish families I know have with their children when it comes to anti-Semitism and hate crimes. We've had the conversation in the house about their family history and the fact that their grandparents all survived unspeakable horror in the Holocaust, I, I ask them, when anti-Semitism happens, what can we do? And uh, we talked about the idea of bearing witness and engaging in tikkun olam. And my older child suggested that we should make uh, a charitable contribution to organizations in Africa that are looking to save animals from becoming extinct. My eight-year-old wanted to make a charitable contribution to organizations that are engaged in work to combat anti-Semitism. And my smallest child was really seized with the idea of, all three of them were, but my smallest child in particular was really seized with the idea of putting the mezuzah back up on the wall. Together we learned the bracha, the blessing for the mezuzah, and we put it up together. Uh, each and every one of them uh, nailed it back into place and said the blessing and walked away really empowered. Martin Luther King would say, darkness can't drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate can't drive out hate, only love can do that. What I hope that this story, and that others, inspire others to do is engage in conversations with their children, engage in conversations with their friends. Each and every one of us, including my children, has the ability to engage in small acts that will bring more light to the world, and that's truly the message, the timeless message of our prophets. And I've thought about the individual that, that took down the mezuzah, and I, I can't help but wonder, what were they thinking? Did they think we were gonna stop being Jewish? Did they think I would crawl under a rock and hide? No. My children, I suspect we'll remember this moment for the rest of their lives. This idea that the mezuzah came down and we were empowered to put the mezuzah back up.